Hello friends, I hope you are enjoying the video. Today's topic of discussion is Pediatric Eczema. Let's start with the introduction. First, we need to understand what is eczema. Eczema is a chronic relapsing inflammatory condition of skin. It is characterized by pruritus or itchiness, dryness or xerosis, and eczematous lesion. 20% of the children worldwide are suffering from eczema. One in every five children, can you imagine? And age of onset below five years. 60% less than one year of age. It is also associated with other inflammatory condition like any atopy, any allergic rhinitis and asthma. Now we have to understand the pathophysiology. The first we need to consider the genetic predisposition like filaggrin gene mutation which leads to impairment of the skin barrier. Next we need to consider the immunological problem like TH to cytokine increment which leads to inflammatory output as well as IgE mediation. Third thing we need to consider the environment causes like allergen, infection, climates and the other microbes. Then we need to consider the uh, the skin barrier problem, any, any impairment of the skin barrier which leads to water loss, which leads to dryness and increased susceptibility to irritant as well as the microbe. What are the risk factors? First, family history of atopy. Next, we need to consider the dry or cold weather, harsh detergent use, any other allergen like exposure to the allergen like dust, pollen, pet and any food allergies. Most of the time it is associated with the infants and psychological stress. What are the clinical features? The hallmark is the itch that rashes. Distribution in infants, it may involve the scalp, cheek, trunk, as well as the extension surfaces. Whereas in older children, flexural surfaces are much more involved, like antecubital fossa, popliteal, ankle, wrist. And acute presentation could be plaque, papule, or vesicles and in chronic presentation it may be looks like lichenification hyperpigmentation and dry skin let's discuss the complication of eczema you already understand if there is a skin blockage there is an impairment of our skin barrier so for that reason there could be a chance of secondary infection like streptococcus uh, pyogenes as well as Staphylococcus aureus. Third, uh, second thing, it may be infected with the viral infection like herpes. Eczema herpeticum is a dermatological emergency. The patient should have to be admitted. Then we need to consider if the child is having itching all the day and night, it may hamper the sleep, it may hamper the growth, as well as it can lead to poor performance at school. Psychological stress are also being very much associated. How we can diagnose the eczema? There is no such uh, test, but we can consider it is a clinical diagnosis. And UK working party a diagnosed working priority criteria for atopic eczema defines each skin plus any three, three or more of the followings like onset below two years of age, then history of generalized dry skin, history of skin crease involvement, any visible flexural eczema, and family history of any other atopy. What are the differentials? Seborrheic dermatitis, psoriasis, and any immunological related dermatosis, as well as contact dermatitis and scabies. How should we treat? First of all, we need to educate the patient very well and avoid the triggering factors like harsh detergent as well as overeating, 
any possible allergy and good hydration. We need to use the emollient very well to make sure the skin is very well hydrated. Third thing, anti-inflammatory agents. We can use the steroid, but we need to consider the potency and site of its use. In sensitive areas, we can use the anti-calciourinin agent. And for reducing the pruritus, we need to make sure uh, avoid scratching as well as the nail should be cut very short as well as always advise to wear cotton clothing. Next, if there is any infection, then we need to consider the antibiotics. And in case of eczema herpetica, we need to consider the antivirals as well. And in, and in very complicated cases, sometimes we consider the phototherapy as well as the systemic agents like cyclosporin. Steroid use tips. The long-term high-potency steroid use is always to be avoided. We need to de-escalation of the steroid therapy when the symptoms are under control. Educate the children to use fingertip unit for the steroid use and always use steroid once or twice daily after application of emollients. Prognosis. The prognosis in general is good. 60% cases it may improve and some of the cases it may uh, go gone into the adulthood and sometimes uh, it, may be, it may develop the other atopic conditions. And it has been seen uh, if we uh, do the control very early, uh, the prognosis and the chances of complications are far less. Few particular tips we need to consider for the treatment of pediatric eczema. First of all, we need to advise if use of emollients is a medicine use. It's not be, to be used as a moisturizer. Second thing, early recognition of the infection, early recognition of the flare-up and adherence to the treatment to get the best result. Key messages. If you are getting chronic, relapsing, itchy, dry skin, just consider eczema. Next thing, education is equally important as medicine and emollient is the main treatment of choice. Early detection and control of eczema can prevent further complications. Now we need to consider what are the clinical station you can expect eczema. You can expect eczema in history station. In history station, again, you have to follow the baseline protocols, onset, progress, duration, aggravating, relieving factor, any association or any complications. Past history, past history of seminal illness, what are the control, any medication, any investigation, who are the consultant involved with the care. Birth history is not much relevant here, but the dietary history, immunization history, family history are equally very important. We need to consider the social history, explore the social history very well because there could be a lot of psychological stress as well as the bully you may get in the history station. So prepare very well this eczema for your history station. You may also expect eczema in video station as well. In communication station, you may be asked to do the counseling of a patient with eczema. I think you are enjoying the videos. Please like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video.